Our top story tonight at 6 as temperatures approach the hundreds outdoors. It's important to know it can be even hotter inside of a parked car. 41 NBC's Andrew Willis spoke with local doctors to find out why it's never safe to leave a loved one in a hot car for any amount of time and the warning signs of a heat related emergency. High temperatures and humidity make for dangerous conditions, especially inside of a car. According to Director of Clinical Practice for Pediatrics at Atrium Health Navicent, Dr. Yamika Head, temperatures inside a parked car can rise nearly 20 degrees Fahrenheit above outside temperatures within 10 minutes. Some people think if they leave the windows open that that's going to help vent the air or even parking under shade that that's going to do it, but it really doesn't help. If your core body temperature reaches 104 degrees, you're at risk of a heat stroke. Headaches, nausea and vomiting, confusion or profuse sweating are signs someone is experiencing a heat related emergency. Dr. Stephen McAlpine is an emergency medicine physician at Piedmont Macon North Hospital. He says a person experiencing a heat stroke can lose the ability to sweat, which prevents the body from cooling down. It's important to always replace fluids and electrolytes when you're sweating when you're out in the heat. If you don't, at some point you become dehydrated and that leads to that cascade of heat injury. If you see someone experiencing heat cramps, heat exhaustion, or a heat stroke, get them out of the hot environment. Help them cool down by removing their clothes or wrapping them in a wet towel. Then call 911. If a child appears to be sleeping in a car, it's important to feel their temperature and make sure they're awake and alert. Dr. Head says lethargy can also be a sign of heat stroke. So sometimes they are sleepy so you don't know they may start to sweat, but then the sweat might stop and then they just feel very hot. According to Dr. McAlpine, once a person's core body temperature reaches 107 degrees Fahrenheit, it can be fatal. That's why he says it's not worth the risk leaving someone in a hot car, even just for a few minutes. The best uh, medicine in this regard would be to take people with you out of the car. Don't take a chance on the car running, the air conditioning running. God forbid the, the car fails, the air conditioning fails, then you're at risk for potential heat stroke, heat injury. In Macon, Andrew Willis, 41 NBC News. And Dr. Head recommends searching the vehicle for loved ones and valuables before you get out. And of course, remember to lock your doors to prevent a child from re-entering the car.